What's good YouTube and Overwatch fans that are clicking onto this video? In today's video, I will be answering your questions and the reasons why you clicked on this video to find out why I think Overwatch 2 will fail for the console edition at least. I want to put it out there that I have not played the Overwatch 2 beta. So as terms of gameplay, I can't really judge, but that's okay because the gameplay and the way it is has no reason on why I think Overwatch 2 could fail on the console. If you do go on to enjoy this type of video or want to support me making Overwatch content, then make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel as we have hit 1k subscribers. I want to clarify that this is not me hating on Overwatch 2. This is me giving the reasons to try and help the game on why it could potentially fail. So I just want to make that clear. So the first thing that I'm going to cover in this video links with the second video so they kind of like a joint but I've put them into two separate things. Heading over to the first reason is smurfing on console. What is smurfing you may ask? Smurfing is where a person will make an alt account. Typically more of the good players do this than the lower ranks. They will make an alt account to either play against easier lobbies or people that are worse than them or they will do it to boost their friends to a higher rank at which their friends should not be playing at. Now a lot of you will understand why this could be a problem for the people that don't I will then explain now. The problem with this is every game or two that a casual player will go into they will come up against a player that is superior to their skill level which is not enjoyable. This will affect quick play and most importantly competitive matches and the experience. You will have casual players that will play quick play that will come up against players that are superior to their skill level and why would they want to come back and play when every game is against people that are way better than them and in terms of competitive why is a hardcore player that puts his time or her time into the game want to play competitively when they're coming against gms that are in plat lobbies you know not to mention that unlike pc smurfing on console is absolutely free everyone probably owns about five to ten accounts and they cost literally no money now you're probably thinking well how does smurfing link in to the other you know thing that we're going to talk about in a video and here's why it's a big problem that smurfs have five to ten accounts on console at least for xboxes which i play on you can zim zimming is basically an alternative for keyboard and mouse yes all these smurfs that are playing aren't even playing fairly i say all the smurfs majority a handful of the smurfs are not playing fairly not to mention that with a zim i.e the keyboard and mouse that they use you also get aimless now can you sort of see where i'm coming from there are dozen and dozen of cheaters that play i don't know about ps4 but at least for xbox console there are so many cheaters that spoil the competitive scene and even the quick play scene now this could be limited if smurfs and creating extra accounts bound accounts actually costed money this is why smurfing is the biggest problem because these people that are cheating have five to ten accounts you know they get bored of one account or climb too high they go straight to the next one there should be a cost for making an account like something even if it's as little as like 30 dollars there should be a price for making all overwatch accounts in my opinion to prevent cheaters and zimmers on console and blizzard needs to do a better job on detecting these cheaters because there are so many of them in the high ranks of overwatch console diamond plus there are so many cheaters it just makes it unfair for the players that are actually trying to compete competitively while they are actually playing fair it's just it's just not fair really that's basically going to wrap up the video and why, in my opinion, Overwatch 2 could possibly fail or do worse. Let me know what you think about Smurfs and Zimmin down in the comments below. Let me know if you've experienced this in the high ranks or if it bothers you. Or maybe I'm just crying because right now I'm a hard stuck diamond trying to get back to higher masters on where I used to play before the Zimmers. Either way, I hope Overwatch 2 will be a success and hopefully you subscribe to the channel for more Overwatch content in the future. Peace.